Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 and my faithful cameraman John Doe. And this is round two of the great canned beef stew taste off. Uh, first, I apologize for the long delay between round one and round two. Couldn't be helped. So uh, let's get on with uh, this one. In round one, the winner was the Armor uh, Homestyle Classic. And uh, now I'll let John pick the first one that we're going to do today. I'm going to pick uh, Hargis House. Hargis House. Yes. That's this that, one. This it is. All righty. Let's see. There we go. And the Hargis House uh, we bought at the Save a Lot uh, grocery store. Uh, it was a dollar ninety nine. And I think I'm going to go with the Castleberry. Okay, this is the the uh, Castleberry's Chunky, bought at Walmart for two dollars and twenty-eight cents. So, ah, uh, you know how it works. So, without further ado, uh, we will meet you in the kitchen. Okay, here we are in the tactical kitchen. I'll show you what these look like in the can when we heat them up. Here's the Hargis house. Oh, it looks a little chunky. Mm -hmm. And the Castleberry. Got it. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get these heated up, and once they're heated up and ready for us to taste, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The uh, beef stew is heated up and ready for us to taste, so that's what we're going to do. I think we'll start here with the Castleberry. Here's what it looks like after it's been heated up. Okay. okay. And that's yours, John. So come on around. Guess I need to give you a spoon. First thing, it, it, it looks pretty chunky. It's got some nice chunks of meat. Step the, this way. Step this way. Some the, uh, the the vegetables, the potatoes, and and carrots. Those are pretty pretty big chunks. So it smells good. It smells like mm. good seed. You're right. The meat is Smell. very chunky. It smells like a mild seasoning. Mm -hmm. Be very mild. I don't smell it, and mm -hmm. I don't taste it. <laughs> As usual, John didn't wait. Mm -mm. Seems to be seasoned just right. It's not like medium. It doesn't taste. I mean, it d doesn't taste bland yet. I don't really taste any seasoning. If that makes sense. Well, I taste the salt. Very mild and soft. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I can't taste it a whole lot. And like she says, I don't. I don't taste a whole lot of different seasonings in no, it. No, I don't. Anything. It's just a just a, a mild gravy 
beef gravy mm -hmm. taste. The, uh, everything's tender and well cooked. The chunks of meat, when I looked at it, I thought it was, you know, actual just cut chunks of meat, solid chunks of meat, but once you bite into it, start chewing it, you can tell it's actually chunks made of ground meat. Mm -hmm. That's a little disappointing. I like this one, it's good. Very mild. very mild. Yeah, it has a very mild flavor. Kind of thing, you know, you could toss in some hot sauce or whatever you wanted to to improve mm -hmm. it. And if you wished, yeah. I mean, it's good without the seasoning, but it's it leaves room for improvement for your own taste, personal taste. Correct. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Have a little cleanse. And wait on the other one. <coughs> All right. We get the Hargis house now. One thing with the Hargis house was, uh, it, it, I believe it has more fat in it because when it came out of the out of the can, it came out in a can-shaped jelly chunk, <laughs> and uh, it also heated up faster than the Denty Moore did. I mean the Castleberry. So I'm not sure you know, how much difference that makes to anything, but and this is more out in there. And this is the Hargis house. It yeah. too looks pretty chunky. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'd say it's as chunky as the Castleberry was. There you go, John. Move around. All right. Get some of this pretty invisible woman. for me. smells just about like the Castleberry did. Well, it, yeah, well, it, that's just it. It's very, it, what little like I'm thinking I'm smelling and tasting, it's very low key, kind of like the Castleberry. Mm -hmm. Seasoning is different, isn't it? It's saltier. And I think that's probably because of the higher fat content. Mm -hmm. You can tell it definitely has more fat than, uh, the, than, castle than the Castleberry. Yes. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because we're talking about storage food for survival purposes and you're going to need the fat and the calories from the fat. You know, during that, so that could be a point in favor of the Hargis house. The meat is equally chunky with the Castleberry, and it's also obviously made from ground mm -hmm. beef and not solid beef chunks. And I'm going to say this has more more flavor 
Not necessarily better flavor, but it has more flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I like the Castleberry a little better because of the the flavor it has over this one. Now this one's not bad at all. I'd eat it too, but uh, I like the Castleberry a little better. Mm. I have to agree with John. It's it, the the flavor on both of them are good. It's just I like the Castleberry a little better. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think they're very close. They're close in terms of the the chunkiness and, and flavor of the beef and the and the vegetables. Um, <clears throat> I personally, I like the uh, fact the Hargis, the Hargis house, have, to me, it has more flavor. Mm -hmm. And I think the Castleberry, to me, is a little bit too mild on the flavor. Mm -hmm. If if the Castleberry was about a halfway between, uh, as far as the flavor, between what it is and what this is, mm -hmm. I'd say it'd be perfect. I'm going to have to vote for the, for the Hargis House. All right. So I guess uh, I'm outvoted. So the winner of round two, by nose, <laughs> is the Castleberry Beef Stew, the Chunky. At least it lives up to its name. It is chunky. All right. Now, just to go over again, the Castleberry's chunky, 20 ounce. Bought at Walmart for two dollars and 28 cents. The Hargis House, 20 ounce. Bought at the Save a Lot for $1.99. So there's not a lot of price difference between them. I don't think you'd go wrong with either one. Of them. But the winner of round two is definitely the Castleberry. Okay, hopefully it won't be long before we get to round three. Uh, certainly not as long as it was between round one and round two. So until then, this is Spec Ops 56, my faithful cameraman and guinea pig, John Doe. And of course, the world famous invisible woman who you cannot see because she is invisible. Saying so long, and we will see you next time.